Oh, what a feast. This is a, an ultimate carnivore feast as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Welcome to the food-loving city of Fez, Morocco. From cone-shaped tagines. Man, that smells so good. To vase-shaped tangias. Oh, it's boiling in there. Pretty much all the barbecue meats you can imagine. That's a huge grill, just wrapping around this entire room. Today, I'm taking you to an extremely popular restaurant where you can eat some of the best Moroccan food. <laughs> no, where to start? There's just so much on the table. And before we taste all of their signature dishes, we'll first have a chance to get into the kitchen. Ooh, big, it's hearty bread too. And see what exactly goes into preparing food for hundreds of hungry customers. Welcome to Fez, Morocco. And again, this is one of the cities I'm most looking forward to visiting, known as one of the culinary capitals of Moroccan food. And we drove immediately to a restaurant on the outskirts of town before we go to the old town for lunch. Oh, yes. Mohammed, where are we at? We are uh, in uh, one of the typical grills uh, restaurants, actually. We're gonna have like a uh, grills, meaty feast. And uh, let's the feast begin. And man, as soon as we arrived here, you could just smell the aroma of the meat. Oh, it smells so good. This entire parking lot, this entire area, it's just filled with the aroma pouring out of this restaurant. Zauja Tanya. Yes. With a cow on their logo and with some giant tagines around, you know you're in for a spectacular meal. Oh, okay. Oh, it's boiling in there. Oh. Oh, what type of meat is that? This is like uh, special cuts from the beef. Okay. Uh, we call it lemelij. Lemelij actually is literally the bum. <laughs> oh, nice, okay. Yes. <laughs> awesome. And then, so that's like braised in a clay uh, pot. Exactly, in a clay okay. pot. This is called tanjia. Braised tanjia. in its own juices. Yes, Tan this is called tanjia. Tanjia, yes. okay. Yes. So yes. the clay pot vessel, this is a tanjia, and yeah. then the, the pan is a tajin. Uh, exactly. Okay. exactly. Yeah. So now we're just, we're just seeing some of their selection of the tanjia, and these are the vase shaped clay vessel. A variety of meats are just boiling away over charcoal, simmering away. Man, that smells so good. All oh, the meatiness. And you can tell that that's just gonna be ultra tender, sizzling away in that clay pot. And they're preparing for a massive lunch rush, you can tell, because just uh, there's dozens and dozens of them going prepared, boiled, ready to go. Now we're gonna move over to the tajin section. And it's a clay vessel, but also about a totally different shape, more of the clay pan with the, the cone-shaped lid. Oh man, look at all the tagines. Oh, these are already cooked and ready to go as well. The vegetables in there. Oh, that aroma, that poof of steam. Oh, that one, you can really smell the, the dried fruits in there. Oh man, he just has dozens of tagines going. They sit over their individual own charcoal burners. They're just steaming in. And one of the great things about a Moroccan tagine is just the way that it, that cone-shaped lid keeps in the steam. So whatever is tucked within the, the tagine, it uh, kind of boils and steams all at the same time, making whatever is inside of it, just bringing the flavors all together and just tenderizing, making everything ultra tender. They already have a lot cooked, but we're here at a perfect time when he's gonna load up some more with the ingredients. So we're gonna watch him as he, he loads them up. Now preserved lemon. Oh, you can smell that immediately. The acidity. Oh, one of the ingredients I love the most so far in Morocco. Seasoning ingredients. Full cloves of garlic. Go in. Cumin. Cumin? Yeah. A nice generous sprinkle of cumin seeds go in. So dry powdered ginger. Oh yeah, you can immediately smell that ginger in the steam. Turmeric. Saffron stock. Okay, so all the spices, seasonings are in. They're about to add the meat next. So the beef gets loaded in. Uh, that's all beef coming from the rump part of the beef. Uh, and you can see there's also pieces of bone with the marrow in his eyes. So you can tell all of that's gonna be braised. That's, the juices are gonna come out. The marrow is gonna be released to make a really rich broth soup.
What a just spectacular cooking process. He loads 12 of them up per griddle per grill, and those are gonna slow cook and boil away, simmer in their juices for the next six hours until all the flavors melt together. Oh man, lucky for us, we have the batch that's already been finished, that's already prepared, that's ready to go, so we're gonna eat right now. So all the grills are on the outside. On the inside is where the butcher is. And you can come here, you can choose whatever meat you want. Lots of it is marinated. There's all sorts of different cuts. So we're gonna get our selection of different meats to go. That's gonna be then taken outside to, to be directly placed on the grill. And they also have some very unique cuts as well. Oh. This is also something like a signature dish here, the, the minced meat. Kafta, is it kafta? Kafta, yes. Okay. This is kafta. okay. So it'll be kafta? Yes. So another thing that they're famous for here is their royal ground beef. And so it includes beef, it includes some parsley and herbs, it includes onions, and it includes a variety of spices and nuts, which we're gonna see the process of them making now. Oh, the double grind. All the nuts go in. You can see walnuts, oh, cashews, almonds. Shukran. Okay, well this one is our order. Straight from the butchery to the grills. Oh, this is the royal. Oh, all our meat goes onto the grill. Man, that is just raging with heat. So much heat coming out. That's a huge grill, just wrapping around this entire room. Oh yeah, wow, well, the aromas. Oh, nice. This is some of the hot rock bread. He pats out that dough and then flips it over onto the rocks. Oh, it totally balloons up. This one is ready? Yeah. And you can see that texture, the crispiness, the char of those rocks in that bread. It's big, it's hearty bread too. Ooh. 
Mmm. Mm. Oh, mm. nothing like freshly baked bread. Oh man, that's uh, puffy, yeah, hearty, yeah. and again you got the char of the the rocks that just bake bread. bread. Beautiful. Oh, it's Beautiful. so good. Mmm. Nice. Oh, there's a little bit of like a a fennel seed in there as well. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fennel seeds, exactly. Excellent. Oh, look at that mixed grill on the next level. Brain tagine. Oh, yeah, the tangia kebab. Okay, and the tangia. Let's go. Thank you. Oh, that's oh. another monstrous tagine. <laughs> oh, those are all the, looks like the whole feet of the cow. Oh, no. oh another huge one. <laughs> That's Very good, thank yeah, you. Yeah. We literally have yeah. everything from yeah. the cow and bull. Oh, what a feast. Wow. This is a, an ultimate carnivore <laughs> feast as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> Only vegetables used here are for decoration. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is another meal where we Oh yes. We need a user manual yeah. to know where to start. There's yeah. so much on oh, the yes. table. So I think we should begin with the... Oh, yes. Those are the royal, they call them, literally call them the royal kafta. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. You taste the nuttiness of it, actually. Mm. The nuttiness yeah, of it, yeah, yeah, yeah. the crumbliness of it. Mm. It needs a little sauce. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. With the roasted green peppers, mm. with the oil. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's good. A, it's a very good sauce. Mm. Oh, it's so wow. juicy. And the sweetness of the liver. Yeah. So sweet. And I love that technique where you wrap the cow fat around the liver and that kind of preserves the juiciness because the liver can get dried out. Sprinkle of cumin. Yeah. Salt. Tomato salt. Mm. I think it will be quite nice also dipped yeah. in the, the chili as well. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Yeah, call fat is incredible. Mm. Mm. Sometimes it's called the king of kebabs with mm. that call fat. So we got some bread for this, some of that freshly baked bread. This is the tangia. That meat slow braised, cooking in its own juices and fat for six hours in the once, clay pot. Oh yeah, once you touch it, it just breaks apart. Mm. Oh, it melts. <laughs> Totally melt in your mouth. Mm. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. wow. Wow. The lemon. Yeah. Wow. Almost forgot about the lemon. Wow. That's just like just mm. enough acidity to break down the, the fattiness of it. Wow. Fatty, tender, juicy, mm. the flavor of the lemon, the garlic in there. The spices are subtle. Mm. But just focusing on the the stew, yeah. making making like melting all those juices and the fat. The marrow comes out of the bone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just to create that, oh, yeah. that really incredibly rich stew. You just poke around with your bread <laughs> and the meat just falls off the bone. Oh, yeah. Poke around. Confusion. <laughs> mm. mm. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. Mm. Wow. While we're at it, Brain tagine? Brain. And what, what types of spices would this be cooked down with? Uh, like sweet smoked paprika, okay. cumin, garlic, a little bit of cilantro. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the dish of the meal so far. I would say, I would say, yeah. That's uh, the top that's, we've had so far in this table. That is awesome. Wow. Awesome. Again, you taste the flavor of the preserved lemon as well mm. in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Preserved mm. lemon with brain. And the brain is just like 
so creamy, so crumbly, almost cheesy. Yeah. Almost yeah. like melted cheese. Exactly, yeah. Yep. With that paprika, with the, oh man, the spices yeah. in there. The cumin. The cumin, yeah. Uh, yeah. That is, it's just a straight up melted brain gravy for bread, a vessel <laughs> for your bread. The liver? Yep. Again, a beautiful sauce. You see that red sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. this one has a bit more of a tomatoey yeah. taste, to it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tomatoes, yeah. liver. Mm -hmm. mm. Excellent. Meat after meat, <laughs> animal part after animal part. <laughs> it's just a, the ultimate in carnivore, a carnivore yeah. dream come true. <laughs> kebab, maldor, maldor, yes. Which means betrayed kebab. <laughs> so it was. It was sad that it never got skewered, but <laughs> hey, I mean, it got into a tagine, which is an yeah. equally good replacement. Oh, yes. I think yeah, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kebab meat. You can see, again, the, the spices in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. The way the tagine just tenderizes the meat is incredible. Because yeah. all, that, all that steam mm -hmm. is just locked up within that cone-shaped lid. We're gonna move into the, the next tagine, which yeah. is all the different organs. You can yeah. see the stomach in here. It's called the all chakalia. Mixed. Chakalia. chakalia. That's yes. a whole dish yes. with all yes. the different yes. organs? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, this one is oily. Oily. Chili, chili. Ah, no. mm. Oh, oh. thank you, thank you. Mm. Oh, mm. Yeah. Mm. Again. Also lime juice, the lime, um, the preserved lemon. Yes. Mm. Mm. Oh man, wow. they really like specialize. These organ dishes are just oh, incredible. Yes. Oh, wow. The brain, the and organs. Yes. Wow. You can tell that's just been stewed down for so many hours. Oh, yeah. To the point where they're literally, you know, you can have organs that are kind of chewy. Yeah, this, this one like, just melts in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, totally melts in your yeah. mouth. Gelatin, collagen, all that skin, <laughs> the cow hoof. Oh yeah, oh that's blubbery. Yeah. And then you want to get some of those chickpeas as well? Mm. Mm. Immediately you feel that stickiness. It's very rich. Mm. <laughs> this is the type of dish that would keep you warm all oh, yeah. winter long. Oh yeah. But yeah, the collagen, <laughs> the skin has just totally melted again. Oh, yeah. That's sticky. That's hearty. Everything here is outstanding. Um, I think what we need to try next are the oh, yes. this gigantic yeah. spleen slice. Spleen slice. Break. Yeah. Spleen. It's usually with this crust, actually, we don't. Yeah. Okay. We don't. So that's just kind of the holder. Yeah, exactly. it's, so it's, it's actually spleen, but it's then been ground up uh, and then made so into a sausage. Inside, actually, is a mixture of uh, ground beef and organs. Oh, okay. okay. They stuff the spleen with. Okay. Yeah. She definitely needs a dip in the harissa. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Mm. Oh. Crumbly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You taste the, the cumin in there? Well, human for sure. Yeah, yeah. Human yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, human, co the coriander, co coriander, coriander seeds. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. Oh, that's, coriander. that's actually really Very good. good. Yeah. A little bit of a livery taste to it. Mm. Um, spleen, you know, I've had spleen can be one of those parts that can be good or not so good. Yeah. yeah. This is pretty tasty, oh, yeah. but a little bit dry, and so definitely, definitely a dip into the harissa is. Yeah. Makes it perfect. But actually, I can taste also some um, uh, spiciness coming from the spice mixture. Liver sausage. <laughs> All right. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's, oh, actually, Spicy. on your first, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the flavor keeps on building. Yeah. You take your first bite. You don't taste that much, and then you start to, to chew. Yeah. The flavor, it's a slow released capsule. <laughs> where the flavor just keeps on coming. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But I think it would be good dipped in the harissa, though. Yes. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, sausage is excellent. Mm. Talk about a meat mixed grill. Mm. Yeah. What a meal, what a wow. feast. The marrow. Ooh, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, it slid. <laughs> mm. Yeah. 
And with all the rich meat, you definitely need some of the, yeah. the sweet mint tea to wash it all down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. What a meal. Talk about a meaty, ultimate meaty meal in Fez. That was outstanding. A huge thank you to my friends from Moroccan Food Tours for organizing this unforgettable lunch. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more Moroccan food that you're not going to want to miss.